welcome to explore Atlassian Confluent Training Course. Today, in the day 11, I will work with the pet history to manage pet versioning in Confluent Pest. Okay. For example, we have a pet, and on that pet, we have uh, so many people cooking together to contribute the content. In case, if you take a look into the current version of the pet, and you see there are some the conflict between the content, or even you see there are some missing on the content pet. You want to see the historical data of each version. So, in the Confluent, it will fully support for you to see the historical of this pet. And if we have any activity or any change on the pet, it will be documented in a version. So, the best history function will help you to do that. Okay, let's get started. And I will open the Confluent page to show you the demonstration. Open the browser and access into the Confluent page. And this is the website development project with GNVS. You take a look into the left menu and I will click on the resource perspective. Open the first item in more detail. Yeah. On this page, you see we have the, some content here. The first section, it will be the dev team, participant, background, retrospective item, action item. So now I will go ahead to release some content here. I will add some the team. For the background, I will add more content here. And then do publish. Yeah. So, assuming this is the latest version of this page, when you do the review the content on this page, and you see here in the background section, we have some content here in duplicated. Because the project outcome of phase one and another text will be duplicated. So if you want to see the history core of the page, you click on the three dot icon on the top. When you hover on this button, it will display the more action. Click on it. It will open up a contact menu. On this contact menu, you select the pet history. It will display the how many version of the pets have been updated here. And for now, the current version in version four, you can also see when, when was the version updated. Also see who had been changed the content on this page. We also have the comment. Basically, when we have any change on the page, we should enter the comment to let the other people know how and why we should change the content on this page. So here, if you want to do the comparison between the version, current version and the older version, for example, version 3, you just go ahead to select this version and the version 3. You click on the compare selected versions. It will display the comparison history here version 3 and current version here on the right hand. You can see on the right hand side, it will display some of the note. I mean the highlight. In the blue, in the pink, yeah. You scroll it down. You see here, this content it will edit new. This is also news. new and new yeah so if you take a look into the version comparison for more detail you can see what will happen on this page yeah and of course when you found the root cause of the issue you can back to the view page open the page history again and if you think the version 3 is fine, 
you just go ahead to click on the restore hyperlink in the action column. Reverse from the version 3. Okay. And now you see here the content on this page has been back from the version 4 to version 3. And all the content on this page has been fine. Yeah. So now click on the three dot icon and open the page history again. Yeah. You see, for now, on this page, we have a new version E version 5. This version 5 will be restore all of the content from the version 3. That means for now, if we do the comparison between the current version 5 and 3, it would be the same. We have nothing in difference. Red hit three again. And in case, if you think the version four is not necessary because there are a lot of chain here, it is incorrect. So you want to delete this one? Just go ahead to click on delete button and click on delete. Yeah. And the current view button will be back to the version four in this of version five. Yeah. Okay. So, I think that's all for today. After you finish this lesson, you know how to view the historical data when we have any change on this page. And then, you also know how to do the comparison between the current version and older version to see what will change and what will the difference between two versions. And then, you can find the root cost of the chain. Yeah. Okay. So I hope this lesson will be helpful for you. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye-bye.